Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be making five cards using papers that came from the April kit from my creative scrapbook. And as you can see, I've already cut my papers into two sizes to allow for some layering. And I'll be using the six by six pre-made card bases for all five cards today. First thing I'm going to do is appear the first layer and I'm using Tompo Mono permanent adhesive and I love that it comes on a roller. It is super sticky too so it works great. And before I start, actually before I put it on, I decided I wanted to distress the edges. And as you can see I do not have a fancy distressing tool. Um, I wanted to use, I knew I had a file somewhere and I found it upstairs in my bathroom. I never used it to actually I guess it's for your feet or your body. I'm not really sure. But I'd never used it, so I grabbed it and gave it a try. And it turns out that it works great. It doesn't tear the pages. Um, which You can use scissors as well, but they do sometimes. Scissors sometimes put a little tear in it. But that worked out great. So I went ahead and adhered that onto my base. And now I'm trying to pick what my second layer is going to be. I went for kind of a monochromatic tone. Uh, I figured why not. <laughs> I went ahead and distressed uh, both sides as well. Can be kind of tough to get the corners. Sometimes I come back and do that toward the end after I've already done uh, most of the sides, but. It just can be a little difficult to get those. You want to try to do it without tearing your paper. I decided to give it some lift, and to do that, I'm using the double sided foam adhesive. And I, I've already thrown the packaging away. I can't remember what brand this is, but it is the first time I've used it. And boy, it is like super sticky. So it kept sticking to my fingers. And I also as you can see, I, I have kind of a tough time getting the backing off of it. But in the end, I win. <laughs> I'm able to, uh, to finally get the backing off and I will be able to get it stuck down as my second layer. There we go. Okay. <laughs> See, I really did struggle. It was so super sticky. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing for all five cards, which I did off camera. And here I'm just showing you uh, the combinations of the layers that I chose. The third one there uh, actually is just one layer, but the rest do have second, um, do have a second paper layer. And that's going to be my first card. And I I had an idea to make this card look like a present. So what I did was I just grabbed some card, some plain white cardstock and cut it into strips and I'm going to, uh, to just lay that down. I did again use the, the Tombow Mono, oh, I can never remember that. Let's see, Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive. There you go. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Um, my roller is a little bit wider than my strips, so I kind of cleaned up the edges just to make sure that the adhesive did not stick out um, once I put it down on my on my card. So I just laid that down just to make it look like ribbon that was wrapped around the package. got that stuck down, I decided to use pretty paper flower that came from the kit. It's going to represent the bow. And I'm just using some Aileen's just regular old craft glue. And um, 
Well, well, you know, it's a paper flower, paper card. You know, I wouldn't use anything overly sticky. It should, it should work just fine. I decided to make it a birthday card. So I have this, um, stamped out this birthday wish. I thought it would be cool to make it look like it was just a tag hanging from the gift. But I realized that I had put the hole on the wrong side. So, yeah, it's not going to work, as you can see. So, can't use it. So I made a couple more stamped copies, and I used black, and that was a little too harsh for the paper. The other one I used was a brown, and I like that much better. So I used some flat wax um, thread um, to just kind of finish off my tag, and I really like it. It's kind of the wax coating makes it, it kind of sticks together, as you can see. I can just just kind of twist it, and it makes it stick. And it's really delicate looking as well. Now I realized that my flower had still not stuck, and so I went ahead and went for some hot glue. So I lay my little tag down, put my flower on top, hot glue. I arrange it to look the way I like. And that's that. That's our first card. For this next card, I'm using a lovely Mother's Day sentiment sticker by Essentials. And this is not from the kit. And actually the rest of the embellishments I used for this card um, are also not from this kit. But I thought it went really well with the paper. So, Mother's Day is coming up, so I thought it would be a good choice. I'm adding a little bit of hot glue just to help it stick. The flowers I'm using are some paper flowers from Little Birdie, and it is from their sparkle collection and I'm just going to use those um, to kind of place those and see just try to work on my composition and see where I want to put them and see what looks best to me. Uh, I realized I had forgotten to put the other part of that sticker on and um, it's a very sweet part of the sentiment that says your love your attention your guidance have made me who I am. So I thought that was lovely. So I put that on and also pulled out some more paper flowers from Little Marie. And these are also part of their sparkle collection. I thought I would see if those went and see if it's something that I wanted to add. But I would also use some of the greenery that came with those flowers. I thought it would be a good way to hide the wire um, for that little for that little bulb that I was adding. I decided to also add some greenery to the flowers at the top. So I just cut those. Now looking back, I wish I would have glued them on at more of an angle. Like the, the big flower at the bottom, the leaves kind of come out in a V shape. Instead of just making them just go horizontally um, in line with each other. But it's okay. <laughs> it worked out alright. But you know. There's always some little things you, you tend to see that if you could go back, you might do a little bit differently. But overall, I think it turned out really great.
I felt this card was missing something. And it turns out that it's not a third flower. It just was too much. It was too heavy for the top. Um, but it just still it needed something, but not the flower. As you can see, I just, I still feel like it's missing something, so I thought maybe one of the flower bulbs from the other package would work, but I ultimately decided no, I didn't think I liked that. I noticed that the sticker was popping up a little bit, so I added a little hot glue on the edges just to make it, make sure it's stuck down. What I ultimately decided to do was to add some perfect pearls or some liquid pearls and what the one I chose was white opal and liquid pearls are a great way to add to your card when you feel like something's missing and you can't figure out what <laughs> so, so it's a great go-to and a lot of times when I add them I, I add them in threes or groupings of threes for some reason odd numbers tend to to feel better and look better to the eye. So I opted to do groupings of threes. And that turns out to add just the touch that I was looking for. That's it. That is our card number two. For our next card, I'm using some Prima flowers. But these Prima flowers came from the previous kit. You get so many items, papers, embellishments of all different kinds in each kit that I always have some left over. And so for this card, I thought these nice, soft, pastel flowers would just be the perfect touch. So I got a little hot glue and added them to the bottom. And then I thought I would add some, some bows. And this time I used, again, some more wax string. And it is flat wax string. This one's in a natural color. And the first time I saw this technique used was by one of my favorite YouTubers, Marta Lakopska. And Marta, I'm sorry if I didn't say your last name right. <laughs> but her YouTube channel is my, uh, I'm sorry, is Marry Me Small Art. And her videos she and her videos have truly been my mentors on my art journey. She has introduced me to the paper crafting and most importantly to the wonderful world of mixed media. And that just changed my life. It set my soul free. I just, I don't know how else to describe it, but I absolutely fell in love with it. And I truly can owe it all to her and her videos. They're just wonderful. And she's just a wonderful person as well. You can find a link to her YouTube channel on my YouTube channel, but I will also include a link below in the description. So please, after this video, please check out her, her YouTube channel. She has been doing this for many years and has just a wealth of videos to choose from. And um, she is awesome. For this, I decided to make it a Get Well Soon card. I decided to just edge, edge the edges of the sentiment with some ink from, from the um, Distressed Oxides. This one is in Faded Jeans, so I, I keep adding until I get it to look the way I want. I'm trying to be really careful and not get it on my fingers so that I don't end up transferring it over to my card. Once I get it the way I like it, I add some hot glue and put that on. Did 
looking again. Again, I look at it and it just seems like it's missing something. So once again, I pull out my liquid pearls and it's still white opal. It's the color. I'm adding it in my groups of three. I'm not really very good at, at using them. I don't use them all the time, but as you can see, ah, <laughs> I accidentally uh, touched one of the little um, little circles that I put, but I just can go back and fix it, so it turned out okay. But yeah, I'm not super good at making them nice and perfectly round. I'm sure it takes practice, but I tell you, once I started using them on my card, I just, I just kept going back to them. They're such a great little addition to fill in empty places. But that's going to do it for this card and that is card number three. The background for this card, our, my first layer, has such bold colors, uh, way more so than the previous cards. So I decided to go ahead and use the flowers, the paper flowers that came with the kit this composition as I knew they would match really well. So now it's just a matter of creating my composition. And this one does use several flowers. Once I get my flowers on, I decide to, to add some leaves just to help fill in some of the empty places and make it more interesting. And it also ties it in really well to my first layer in the background. But looking back, I really, I should, for the flowers on the two corners, I really should have added the leaves um, before I glued the flowers down. Because as you watch, you'll notice that a on multiple occasions I keep I keep trying to figure out how to get the leaves in the corners just the way I like them. Um, I try several times even trying to pry the flower off just a little bit but in the end I was afraid I would rip my paper and ruin my card so I just kind of had to, to make do.
Now for my sentiment, I went with some, I think, I don't know what it's called, words and sentiments. I know that I got them from Tim Holtz, but I can't remember exactly how the item is identified. I looked online, but I wasn't able to locate it. So I know they are made by Tim Holtz. So uh, I like them because they're thick cardboard. And it really worked out well for this card because this card to me is just kind of very bold. And those words and phrases on that thick cardboard also had that bold look. And I thought it just went really well. I'm trying to decide for the bottom which one to use. Um, but I ultimately decided to go with Love This Life because it's bigger and it's older. It matched, it's the same size as the one above it. And just to me, went with the card the best. So that's it. That is it for card number. Our last card is a single layer card. It's flat and it's going to be mostly flat. So I decided to go ahead and keep it simple and use the paper die cuts that came with the kit to create this composition. Since it is just paper, I go ahead and use the Tombow adhesive roller to adhere this embellishment. It's like I said, super sticky and is definitely more than enough to, to keep these paper um, embellishments stuck to the card. For my sentiment, I went ahead and chose one of the words, the paper words that also came with the kit. And since it is such thin paper, I went ahead and used the double adhesive over just as much of it as that I could, so it would give it good support. And that's it. This one was really simple. And here they are, all five cards, all very different. I hope you've enjoyed watching today, and if so, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. See you next time. Bye.